Oh, boo, let's talk to Grant Harold, former Royal Butler's and Etiquette expert. Is it ever okay to uh, to boo, Grant? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Andrew. Well, yes, on occasions, but probably not at the world's foremost sports competition. I think I think it should be avoided. It's not quite the local children's pantomime, really, is it? No, it's not. But people feel strongly, I guess, about what is going on in their country, the political situation, and if they catch a glimpse of their president, they may make their feelings known in the only way they know how. Absolutely, and and actually, it's, it's interesting because uh, obviously, booing. I don't know if you knew this. It originated with the Greeks back in the um, six BC. So, it's a tradition, obviously, maybe over over there for uh, that kind of thing. But on this kind of occasion, it's better to kind of not go into the politics side of it, and for them to remember it's about sport and, and competition, and you know, it's um, playing games with the fellow with the fellow sports people, and not seeing it as a as a political um, thing. It is, it is, and you're right. However, these people, if they're feeling kind of disaffected by what is going on and they don't really get the chance to see the president up close or as close as they will be in that situation, that might be the only thing they know how to do. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I think it's a shame I'm not there because what I would advise them to do is probably do do a letter, get some, get some letters. Write a letter. Suppose. Write a letter. A strongly write a worded letter. Le- that's a very British approach, Grant. I mean, you'd write a strongly worded letter. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I think that'd be the best way to deal with it. Yeah, and, and does it ever work maybe as your, your sports team or if you're a gig or something? Is it ever the right thing to do? Not re- again, but it's something that we, we learn as youngsters because we obviously we go to the pantomimes, we learn about booing when you don't agree with something or the baddies are on stage. And it's something that I suppose as we as we can grow up, we, we, we kind of take that on board. And then when we're at a, an event or somewhere and we don't agree with what people are saying and you hear it, all the time you hear adults that will suddenly boo or, or heckle as a disapprovement, but it's not really something that we should be doing. We, we should actually, uh, it's better just to be quiet, say nothing. And as I said, if it, something really bothers you or that somebody is saying something, either say it at, at the right time or, or, as I said, write a letter. OK, a nice strongly word. So you make me uh, think of, of, of how British we are, say, at the end of a meal. It's, it's uh, you know, it could be the worst thing you've ever experienced. You, mm. you have had terrible service and the food mm. has been off. And yet, being British, you'd, you'd say, oh, no, it was all lovely. Thank you very much. You're right. And especially if somebody else is, if somebody else is good enough to pay for it, the last thing you're going to turn around is actually complain. Or, or You can't really complain, can you? And I, I've been in that situation where you've, you've gone for me or someone else has paid for it and the service has been off or it's delayed or there's, there's some problem. And you can't really, really say anything. And it, it's, it's, as you say, it's a, the British thing. It's the thing that we kind of learn as British and obviously teaching etiquette and, and manners. It's something that I have to say to people People that even if you are unhappy with something, whether it's service or whatever it might be, you you're not really supposed to kind of make a scene. It's okay. better to follow up, as I keep saying, with a letter or an email or some other way of doing it, or have a private word, but don't do it in, in public. Okay, so to all those tens of thousands of people in Rio, Grant says write a strongly worded letter. Don't boo. Absolutely, right. yeah, absolutely, without question. Thank you, mate. Nice <laughs> to speak to you. Thank you, Grant Harold, former Royal Butler, and etiquette expert. A lot of booing expected tonight at the opening ceremony.